Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create elemental tabs with horizontal scroll that works for both mobile, tablet, and even desktop if you choose if you want it to work for that. This tutorial also shows you how to make that happen. So this is a preview of what we'll be achieving at the end of this video, as you can see. Yeah, this is for the mobile. When you come down to the the tablet mode you can also see it work on the tablet as well so the longer the, uh, the the tabs the more the horizontal scroll so without further delay let's dive in and get started all right so before we begin the first thing we need to do is to head on to our elementor go to settings and under the settings we'll go to futures and make sure that flexbox container is set to active and then the nested element is also set to active once you've done that you now scroll down and you click on save changes once you've done that you now head on to the page and you refresh the page so you're going to have something like this now the next thing you're going to do is let's uh, add a container let's let's add a container let's add this and let's give it a, a full width and let's give it a, a padding of let's say 100 all around so we can see exactly what we're doing the next thing we'll do is click on this plus icon here and then we'll search for tabs search for tabs and then we'll drag this tab here all right this is what we get now so what we're going to do is uh we're going to add something to the tab so uh the first tab this tab uh, we're going to edit it and let's add something to it let's add this container and then let's click this and let's add um a card let's add a card a call to action let's add a card call to action Let's add a call to action this let's drag it and drop it here and now let's first of all set the edit the the container and let's set it to row horizontal and now let's uh, duplicate this let's duplicate it again I'll have something like this so what we're going to do is we're just going to edit this and let's uh, style it a little bit and uh, yep let's set it here and then we'll do the same here we'll add another image Let's add this image we'll do same here let's add this image let's add another image all right now now we'll have something like this on our first tab as you can see this is what we'll have on our first tab okay the next thing we're going to do is uh we're going to go back to editing our tab let's edit the tab and then let's delete this and let's delete this and now let's duplicate this tab duplicate it duplicate it again and again until we have let's say one two three four five six let's have up to seven or so or even ten it depends on how many tabs you want to have but it doesn't really matter now once we've done that as you can see this is what we have this is what we have when you click on each tab it shows you there is no more difference so i'm just going to pause this video and then i'm going to style the, the, the various tabs so when you click on the tab you can notice the difference from there all right so as you can see now i've edited each of the tab i've changed the number from tab one down to tab seven and for each tab you can see you can notice the difference now in images all right so the reason for this is so that when we input our code uh, we can easily notice the difference in the tab when we move from one tab to the other all right so now that we've done everything and, and our tab now looks all right and looks different now let's check the responsiveness of our tab. Let's check the responsiveness of our tab to do so. We just click on this and see the responsive. We'll see how our tab looks like on tablet. This is what we we'll get on tablet, and then this is what we we'll get on on mobile. So we we'll get on mobile. So I'm just gonna click on this uh, on our container, and then I'm just gonna remove the the padding. Let's just give it a padding from the left, 10 to the left, and 10 to the right, and then let's go to. Uh, the tablet mode and uh, let's do the same let's give it a padding 10 and 10 this way all right so if we should go back to edit our tab when we come down to um, the responsive settings we see that uh, the breakpoint is set to mobile the breakpoint is set to mobile which is this this is the breakpoint we're talking about now let's go back to the desktop mode and let's sort it out and make it uh, scroll horizontally instead of having that breakpoint in particular. So let's just do that. So before we do that, let's style the tab title a bit. Let's give it some some border radius. Let's give it some border radius. So we'll go to the tabs. 
section under the border edges. Let's give it a border edges of let's say 30 pixel. And then let's scroll down. Let's give it a background color of uh, red. You know, no, no. Let's revert to default. Let's give it a background color. Let's give the hover and the uh, active to a uh, color of uh, red. And then same with the hover. Set it to red, like so. So this is what we have. Okay. Now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is. We're going to add our code and make this scroll horizontally. So we just click on this Ruby Skip icon here and then we go to we we'll search for HTML tag, HTML tag, and then we'll drag it and drop it here. We can even drop it at the bottom here. We can even drop it at the bottom here, anywhere in particular, it doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna copy our code here. Don't worry, this code our Add it to the comment section of this particular video. I'm going to stick it at the bottom at, at the comment section of this video so you can just copy it and make use of it wherever you want to make use of it on your website. So once you do that, you just copy it and then you paste it here. Okay, now that we've done that, you you notice that uh, our tab our tabs have gone to the uh, right or to the start. So in order to make it come to the center, we just edit this tab here and then we'll go. To the content and then we'll set the justify to justified and then that that has been fixed this is what we have now all right so now that we've done that next thing we do is to test our code to see the responsiveness this is what we get this is this is what we get and then we'll we do the same for uh uh mobile this is what we we'll get you may not be able to to see it live in action here on your editor both for tablet and for mobile you may be able to see it live in action here but however i have a simulator that we're going to use to test run this so let's head on to the simulator on my browser and then let's test run this all right so um this is a um, simulator extension this is a google chrome extension i've already made a video about this so if you want to know the name of the extension i'm using you can check the video i'll add the video to the description of this uh, tutorial as well so now we've clicked it and you can see the various devices so we're currently using iphone 12 pro and this is our horizontal scroll this is it and you can also check it on um, ipad that is on tablet and this is it as well on tablet so the longer uh, the more the tabs the the longer the horizontal scroll and as well. finally when we head back to our editor and let's say we ed exit this and we go and edit this html code let's let me explain a brief of this code you can see some comments to each of the code um you you can for those of you that have little or no knowledge about CSS, in this code you can see for the comments here, you can see that this this section here allows for it to allow for the scroll bar to also work horizontal scroll bar to also work on on the desktop. So if you do not want it to work show on desktop, you can just take this line of code out. You can take this line of code out if you do not want it to show on your desktop. And also. Um, yep i think that is much of the editing other other part of the code is quite explanatory you can see using the comment to understand what each section of the uh, css is actually performing all right so we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful if indeed you find this tutorial helpful you can do us a favor by hitting the like button for the youtube algorithm so that other people can find this video as well and if you're new to our channel you can subscribe and uh, remember to hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we upload a new video and also most importantly drop your comment wherever you're confused and i will make sure i attend to them until then see you next time bye, -bye.